Hey guys, Tick Spark here with another video review and this time we'll be looking at the Star Trek, the official Starship collection from Eagle Mars, USS Voyager and Armoured USS Voyager. Now I thought I'd review these two simply as the same ships, it's just one's armoured and one's not. Um, first thing with Voyager, a lot of Star Trek fans don't like Voyager. I think it's bad and crap and all that stuff, but yeah, it ran for seven seasons. But anyway... Uh, this is one of, one of my other favourite ships, uh, I even actually have a, a model I built of it, but anyway. Uh, well, the magazines are basically the same as all the others, you can have, there's basically information about the ship itself, and knocking things over. Uh, I'm not going to go into too much detail, but it tells you the battles and everything like that, so, yeah. Now, you're wondering... Why hasn't the armoured one got a stand? Well, the stand broke for that one um, because it's incredible. As you notice, the boy just falling. It's incredibly tight to put it on, and if you push too hard, it'll break. That's the only down thing that's actually wrong with the whole thing. I wish the stands were universal. I don't. I didn't. Wouldn't mind a hole at the bottom of the ship for it to plug in, so you can plug in anything else. But anyway, uh, this is Voyager's off its stand. And that's how the stand works, basically. Take a look at the unarmored Voyager first, and I like this ship. It's kind. It kind of reminds me of a Stingray. Um, Stingray, Stingray. Do never mind. Uh, so yeah, looks pretty cool. And the detail on it is really, really good. The modeling you did is brilliant for the size of the thing. Again, people complain about the size, but I don't. I like it. Uh, pretty cool. You got the NCC seven four six five six. There was a reason why they went number and I can't remember it. Great detail underneath, modeling detail and everything and for some reason on Voyager it seems to be a the, the details seem to be a lot sharper. Um or it might be because I've painted the big one and all the details on it. But yeah, pretty cool. And yeah, it was only a small ship, so pretty cool. The these um pylons don't move unfortunately, but what are you gonna do? It's pretty cool. Flex edition there as well, so the detail is quite good. Now the armored one. Now, if you haven't watched the show, uh, the last I think it's the last either the first or the second last episode in Janeway. Uh, spoiler alert: Janeway travels back in time and gives them the technology to make a shield that deflects Borg attacks. Um, which is quite cool. It's like an armored up. Um, it kind of armors up like the Batman one from 1989. Um, it looks pretty cool. You deflect to this there. It's like different design there, but all the modern details are all in there, and it looks really cool. Um, yeah, looks pretty cool. Unfortunately, the armor didn't last very long in the episode, but what are you gonna do? And it's all painted in silver, and it's pretty much the same detail up top size and everything, apart from the armour. Although I'm looking at the nacelle is a little bit longer, but it's a different style shape, which is, looks pretty cool. Um, I think you can get the armoured version on Star Trek Online, I think. Uh, but anyway, yeah, two cool ships. For a size comparison, here is the Enterprise D, and as you can see, the scale does not work well. Because uh, this is probably about this big compared to it. Uh, here's another Enterprise just to show you the size. Again, I don't think the size is right. And here is Lieutenant Commander Data just to show you. He's roughly this. Oh, yeah, you can see the size there. And um, this, the top piece of the sh this shell. This piece is made of die cast underneath and everything else is plastic same with this this one as well so yeah it's pretty cool it's, it, Voyager's got an, uh, an Iron Man suit <laughs> so yeah like I said I'll show you the stand. the stand these clips go over here but you have to push so hard from stay on it's almost impossible to keep it on and that really lets these things down so yeah, thinking about getting these, I've looked online, don't pay more than $4.99 or $5.99 or like that. Uh, people are selling them for $20, $30, $40, I've seen one at $50. Um, but yeah, cool little ships. 
don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks so much, and guys, see you later.